Cherry from Caledon Mountain Veterinary Hospital and today I'm just going to be reviewing what's involved with a physical examination of your pet when they come to see us at the clinic. So this is Danny. He has kindly volunteered to work with me today and Danielle is going to give me a hand and just help us take a look at him. Okay. So normally when we start, we'll start at the front end of a patient and we'll just do a couple things by taking a look at them from a distance. So looking at symmetry of their head, making sure everything looks even from one side to the next. Anybody? And then we sort of work through the different systems on their head. So we'll start by looking in ears and looking for any color changes, any debris that are in those ears. We have talked to the owner about any history of any discomfort associated with them. And Danny's ears look quite good. And then we're going to move to his eyes. And his eyes are looking nice and clear. Good job. And I'll often take out my ophthalmoscope, which allows me to look a little bit more clearly into his eyes. Okay. Just look for any abnormalities with the globe itself. It allows me to look straight through to the back of his eye. Good job. Oh, so great. Eyes look great. And then we move on down, looking at his mouth. And not every patient will tolerate us looking at all of their teeth and gums, but Danny is doing a great job. So I'm looking for any tartar that's accumulated, any redness with the gums, or any lumps or bumps that are present, and certainly noticing what Danny's breath smells like. Good job. And then as I move kind of down from the mouth, I'm going to be feeling for lymph nodes that live underneath uh, the jaw and making sure we don't feel any swelling of those lymph nodes. Same with lymph nodes that sit just in front of the shoulders. And those feel nice and normal. Why? And then I'll just move my hands further back and down his body. So up and down his legs, feeling for symmetry, feeling for any areas might have bumps or bumps or discomfort associated with them. And then we'll actually even pick up the legs and check his range of motions in his joint. I know, it's a good fella. Just like that. Good boy. So I'll do the same thing on the other side as well. And then moving further back, when I'm feeling over the rib cage, what I'm trying to assess is how heavy or how thin is Danny's what's called body condition. So that gives me an idea of is he too chubby or is he too lean? And Danny is in good body condition. So I can easily feel his ribs as well as the bones of his spine without anything sticking out too much. And when I look at him from the top, he has a nice waist that tucks in and then flares out to his hips again. Good job. And then I'm going to palpate his abdomen using both of my hands. Feeling for any lumps or bumps, any sensitivity with palpation, and also any abnormalities that shouldn't be felt in the belly. Good foul. And while we're still in this kind of trunk range, we're going to have a listen to his heart and his lungs. So we'll listen to the heart on both sides of the chest. Good. And we get a heart rate. We're listening for the heart rhythm as well as for any other abnormal heart sounds. And then also listening to the lungs on both sides as well. Listening for any wheezing, any crackly sounds, or any increase in his breath sounds. Also listening to see if there's any areas where we don't hear sounds, which is also abnormal. And his lungs sound great. Good boy. So keep moving back, and as we're moving back, we continue to try to feel over his body, feeling for any lumps or bumps anywhere on the skin, assessing his hair coat, so looking, making sure we don't see any dandruff, no evidence of any fleas. 
and ruffling up his fur a little bit. Good job. And then we're going to move to the back legs and do a similar thing as what we did for the front legs. So feeling up and down the legs for symmetry, any heat, pain, or swelling. And then picking up each leg on its own and assessing the range of motion in the joints. I'll do the same on the other leg as well. And then I'll work my way down to the tip of the tail, lifting up that tail and having a good look around the bum. Sorry, Danny, that's kind of rude. And while we're back here, we will take a temperature, but we're gonna spare Danny that today. And then the final thing that I do is I'll take a stand up and I'll just have a look at Danny from a distance and actually walk him, watch him walk around the museum room a little bit and just make sure that he's moving well. <laughs> and not having any trouble with getting around. And so that pretty much happen, is what happens when you have a physical exam at our clinic.